This is Song Yu Hong. Today my talk is kind of an introduction to atmospheric modeling. Its content is very general, not limited to work model. It can be applied to any atmospheric modeling from regional to global, from NW application to climate studies. This is the list of presentations for me to cover concept, structure, predictability, and regional modeling. How was today's weather forecast made? Most of people assume that observation data are used to directly provide a forecast. However, information from observation itself is only useful for hours in advance, up to six hours. A series of processes are required to produce forecast from observation data. Red box represents the numerical weather prediction starting from data analysis, integration of a numerical model, and output analysis which is processed in supercomputer without human interruption. Numerical model is a comprehensive computer program depicting weather phenomena, which plays a central role in weather forecast. First, various observation data are available to cover at one state in three-dimensional surface Zonde, satellite, and ocean buoy. These data are transferred to regional and national centers and across countries. Archived data at national centers over the globe are analyzed to examine the current status of the weather. At the same time, these data are used to make initial conditions over weather forecast models. The principle of a numerical weather prediction is based on fundamental theories of thermodynamics and dynamics. When cloud form heat releases, this heating increases the temperature of the air and also expands its volume. Dynamics is based on Newton's second law, force equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. The mass of air is approximately one kilogram per cubic meters. It is heavy and we don't feel it since our bodies got used to this mass of the air. It is just like the fact that fishes feel free in water body, which is mass is one ton per cubic meters. Given the mass, we can estimate the forces from analyzed grid data. Then we obtain the acceleration. Given the acceleration and initial conditions, we can estimate the future state at time equal to t. These two theories are simple, but they are non-linearly interactive. For instance, temperature changes modulate the forces in turn, wind speed at the column, which consequently affects the temperature. Thus, the solutions of the equations are only possible through numerical method, not exact solutions. In addition, atmosphere is a conserved property, momentum, mass, moisture, and energy are conserved. Also, air is regarded as ideal gas. The first person who designed the governing equations is Biakonis in 1904. Three components winds, density, pressure, temperature, and moisture. Seven equations for seven unknowns, which is solvable. In 1922, Eric Richards first tried to predict the weather with the governing equations of a Biakonis, but the six-hour forecast was completely failed. The center of a high-pressure system increased by 
200 hectopascal, which is, was supposed to be nearly the same between six hours. The major reason is that only surface observations are available at the time. Thus, the initial conditions derived from the surface data for three-dimensional model should be highly unbalanced. Also, numerical stability in applied mathematics was not discovered. They employed a six-hour time step to produce a six-hour forecast. After the trial, proper data are archived during World War II, which accelerated the discovery of atmospheric flow pioneered by Raspi and Chani. In 1950, Chani's group first succeeded the date to forecast using their first computer ENIA. This figure shows the history of NCEP GFS forecast skill, 500 millibar anomaly correlation coefficients are given from 1950s to recent decade. Blue and red lines are 36 and 70 hours forecast respectively. You can see the overall improvement. All the trend is very slow. They were up and down uh, some years, but uh, in general, focus security has kept increasing for past uh, 60 years. Also, you can see that about 10 years are taken to achieve the accuracy day one in advance. We can drive the day five focus skill in 2020 is as accurate as the day two forecast 30 years ago. There are three factors for the improvement, supercomputer, physical processes, and initial conditions. US and Japan dominated the supercomputer market in history, and recently China became the top. In US, Cray and IBM companies predominate the market. ENIAC in 1946 was 500 flops. Now we are expecting an exascale computing in a few years. First, initial conditions. Initial condition is obtained by the exhaust simulation. Various observations are available, surface zone the satellite. A difficulty in data simulation lies in the fact that observed data in heterogeneous in space and time. But the initial condition for the model should be homogeneous at a specific time. Data simulation best combines observations and the model. Three-hour window observation is used to construct initial conditions for model integrations. Six-hour forecast is used as a background of the first guess in next cycle. Model is composed of uh, dynamics and physics. Dynamic core is regarded as the identity of the model, and the physics modules are component linked to the dynamic core. Dynamic core is closely related to speed of computation and the physics to predictability of weather. Now we have initial conditions and supercomputer and governing equation to be integrated. Dynamical core defines the grid system in vertical and in horizontal. In 3D grid points, equations on the left are to be integrated. Blue boxes in the governing equation represent the physical forcing terms.
There are two typical discretization methods in special finite version spectral. Finite element is a combined method of the two. Finite difference method specifies the value at a given physics grid. Spectral method defines the value at physical grids as a sum of coefficient for a given wave numbers. Resolution is defined as grid size in finite method and it is defined as the maximum wave number in spectral method. There are various described methods in temporal integration. Leapfrog is good for hyperbolic such as advection terms, but unstable for parabolic such as diffusion terms. Wolf uses RK third order method. Physics modules represent all the diabetic portion of the air. Each component is a branch of atmospheric sciences. Radiative meteorology, micrometeorology, air chemistry, and air sea interaction. Each phenomena should be formulated mathematically and it should be written in Fortran program. For instance, real atmosphere, snow, cloud, and fog, you need to set up the theory and formulate, and then should be written in the Fortran program on the right side. This is an example of warm rain process of WSM microphysics. Auto conversion is the growth of raindrops from cloud droplets. Raindrop further grows by accreting cloud droplets when it falls. Drop evaporates below the cloud base. Right side the formula, left side is the Fortran program. Here, this is the evaporation of uh, falling raindrops. HDC stands for the uh, Hong and to the uh, chain equation number 10. We can compare the numerical model to a car. Dynamic core is regarded as the engine of a car. These modules are component linked to the engine. Software is the frame of a car. Data simulation is the gas or a road that makes the car move. Driver is the decision maker to get the final destination. As the forecaster issues the daily forecast. As the performance of numerical model is higher and higher, the role of a forecaster becomes limited. With the advanced car in coming years, driver's role could be less important. There are various ways to classify the model. Dynamic core, hydrostatic versus non-hydrostatic, in terms of scale, global model, or regional models. In global model, order of 10 km is the resolution for numerical prediction, and the order of 100 km is for climate studies. For regional model, one order smaller. We can also classify the purpose of the application. Numerical prediction is a snapshot given the initial condition. Climate study or seasonal prediction is the response for a given portion. This figure shows the example of uh, entropy application of a numerical model. Snapshot. Day 4 at first column, second column, day 5, day 6, 
third column. Upper panel shows the new model, Kim, Korean internal model, which was operational in April 2020. Lower panel is the KMA UM, had been operational from 2010 to 2020, recently. Uh, shade is a uh, preptation and the uh, solid lines at uh, sea level pressure. You can see the similarity in both model um, over the United States. So both model produced 10 day forecast and uh, it start to debate after one week. Numerical weather prediction model can be integrated beyond the 10 day forecast, but the information at the given time snapshot is limited due to the predictability. Lorentz discovered the limitation of a weather forecast. Chani discovered the uncertainty in initial conditions and the model. And Lorentz figured out unstable nature of atmosphere. Lorentz discovered the uh, predictability. His purpose is the Andrew model is better than statical forecast. He used the very simple equations and he discovered a quite different result between the two forecasts. And the differences uh, arise from the initial conditions at three decimal point and totally different result after two months integration. It's called the round of error, cause of non-periodicity, and became the uh, care theory, and current limitation of entry forecast is the two weeks. Surprisingly, Lawrence discovered in 1962, indicating an ensemble forecast is valid even today. This is schematic of uh, predictability. X axis forecast time, Y axis error of magnitude. Continuous efforts are given to improve the accuracy of the model and initial condition. It is stressed that even for perfect model, error is accumulated with time because carbon equation itself is approximations. Also, there are initial condition uncertainty. It makes the error accumulated. Thus, considering the chaotic nature of the air, ensemble method is utilized beyond the deterministic forecast. Here, deterministic forecast stands for the converged output with a slightly different initial conditions. With accumulate error, the member of the ensemble forecast diverges. That means spread among ensemble members increased. Thus, snapshot after a certain period is not meaningful. Thus, average of all ensemble members is useful. So that beyond the detailed forecast, ensemble method is utilized to provide seasonal forecast and climate studies in response to external forcing such as sea surface temperature anomalies. Beyond the uh, determined forecast, average of each ensemble member is useful. 
each member consists of a slight different initial conditions. This is the example of a seasonal forecast. Upper panel is the SSD anomaly in early 2020. Lower panel is the temperature anomaly in response to SSD anomalies. Most of the globe is warmer than normal year. Climate prediction represents the atmospheric response for a given climate scenarios. For instance, for given representative change pathway, so-called RCP scenarios, climate change is the integrated result for future minus present climate. Current climate is 2020 and if suppose 20 year averages. If we have a 20 averages in 2200, the difference between the two is the climate changes. There are various scenarios from RCP 8.5, high greenhouse gas concentration levels, RCP 4.5, stabilizing scenarios. This map shows the global food production from climate model results in 2080. You can see that most of the region of the globe suffer from the uh, decrease of uh, food production. And Canada, Brazil increased their uh, food production. A lot of uncertainty in climate prediction due to various unknown feedback issues. Given the uh, forcing CO2 aerosol volcanic, climate system deal with the uh, feedback and then response is the outcome of uh, climate models. This waterway feedback, ice, albedo, vegetation feedback, this is uh, much uncertainty. It is a trend that NWP GCM is unified to share the knowledge between NWP and climate communities. Until now, we discussed the general overview of numerical modeling. Now, let's get to the original modeling. Regional modeling is a magnifying glass, but needed for application to impact assessment, such as water resources management, human health, agriculture, and disaster protection. The benefit of a regional model is very clear. Left figure shows a Santa and I add it, simulated by the original model at the resolution 10 km. Central figure is the uh, global model field from NCEP and analysis at the resolution 20 km. We don't see any eddy at the 200 km resolution. Right side observed circulation along the California coast. Another inherent issue in regional modeling is that lateral boundary treatment. Regional model should have a lateral boundary condition from global model output or reality data. There is a buffer zone between the two models. At the later boundary, we should have information from the global model itself. Inside the buffer zone, it is treated as a regional model solution. Between the 
lateral boundary and the inside buffer version, you should have a weighting function of a global and a regional model. But this weighting is so empirical. Due to the inherent issues in regional modeling in treating lateral boundaries, domain size sensitivity is inevitable. This is the example of domain size sensitivity. Large domain and small domain in East Asia. Observation is from the NCEP and career analysis and the object preparation in a large domain shows the uh, central pressure north of uh, yellow sea away from the observation but more regional details for small domain central pressure and its location is closer to observation but the um, regional detail is elevated Global model doesn't suffer from the uh, uncertainty in the later about treatment, but the regional model has a fundamental limit due to the uh, low resolution global model input and the mathematical ill pose setup in buffer zone. Thus, large domain solution debit from the global model after day two. Small domain here keeps the large scale from the global but loses its freedom. Spectral lodging in dashed line keeps the large scale but may lose the regional details. This is the last slide of my talk today. These two papers cover much of my Presentation given today, Hong and Kanamich, Dynamical Downscaling, Fundamental Issues from an NWP Point of View and Recommendations. Didia, History of a Medical Model Development. Thank you for your attention.